All right, so Google strikes again with yet another bombshell research paper. This one is called Titans plus Miris, helping AI have long-term memory. And honestly, that title might be underselling it because one of the biggest weaknesses in AI right now is memory. Even the smartest models out there like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini, they can read a super long document, sure, but then they forget half of it five minutes later. And when the chat resets, they basically forget everything. But this new combination of Google's Titans architecture and Miris framework allows AI models to quote, work much faster and handle massive contexts by updating their core memory while it's actively running. So today, we're gonna break down how this whole long-term memory system actually works and whether Google may have just quietly solved one of the biggest limitations in AI. Let's get into it. So firstly, before we get into what Google actually invented here, we have to understand why AI struggles with memory in the first place. And basically, it comes down to transformers, the architecture powering almost every large language model today. They use something called attention, which is like constantly scanning back through the input to figure out what's still important. And that worked amazingly well for a while. The problem is, attention gets insanely expensive the longer your input gets, like exponentially more expensive. So when you start throwing full books, genomic sequences, or massive code bases at these models, they just can't keep up. At some point, they start dropping earlier information to make room for the newer stuff. This is known as the goldfish problem, or catastrophic forgetting. Now, people have tried alternatives, like these new efficient RNNs and state space models such as Mamba2. They do actually scale way better and faster, but because they compress everything into a tiny fixed size memory bucket, they also forget a lot of nuance along the way. And this is where Titans and Miris comes in. Google calls Titans the tool, the actual architecture, and Miris the blueprint, the theory behind how to build this kind of memory system. Together, they introduce something pretty wild, test time memorization meaning the model can learn new important information while it's running, not just during training, and store it permanently if it needs to. This is like giving an AI a long-term memory and the ability to continually learn. Let's look at how it works. Before we do that though, a quick word from today's sponsor, Bandy AI. Bandy AI is an all-in-one AI agent for e-commerce, built to help brands and online stores generate high-performing marketing content in minutes. You can upload your own product assets, provide the agent with a product page link, or even just describe your idea. I'll be using this product, a DJI Mini 4K, as an example. Just paste the link in here, choose the platform, the aspect ratio, the duration, and start it up. It gives you the title, the description, all the images and videos, and yeah, this all looks good. Let's confirm and continue. So now it has generated the video scripts, we'll just choose one of these and continue. Finally, it combines everything and generates a ton of previews of what the final ad will look like. Here was one of the best ones. Finally, I can proudly say, give me the best view from above you've got. With the Skyview Pro, your aspirations to store are met with advanced technology designed to elevate. Plus, what's even cooler is that Bandy AI now creates platform-optimized product images with just one click. The agent automatically understands your product, the features, the audience, the use cases, and then designs the perfect set of images specifically for platforms like Amazon, Etsy, Walmart, and more. You get a full batch of ready-to-publish product photos, and if you want, you can tweak the plan before generating. There's even tools like image generation and image editing built right into the platform, so you can seamlessly take your generations to the next level. And soon they will have a product video feature on top of the product image set. So definitely check out Bandy AI, the link will be in the description. And thanks again to Bandy AI for sponsoring this video. Okay, so starting with Titans, this is actually an architecture Google introduced about a year ago. And just like humans, Titans separates memory into two systems. Short-term memory, which is essentially attention, the mechanism powering transformers we just talked about, and long-term memory, where they introduce a brand new neural memory module. This long-term memory isn't just a bigger vector or a scratch pad. It's literally a deep neural network inside the model like a second brain whose only job is to remember the big picture, if that makes sense. 
So this long-term memory isn't just taking notes. It's actually understanding and summarizing what really matters across the entire input. And the way it decides what's worth remembering is honestly pretty cool. It's called the surprise metric. Basically, humans tend to forget the boring, routine stuff. But we remember the weird things, the unexpected twists, the emotional hits, etc. And Titans tries to do that same thing. If a new token fits the current pattern, that means low surprise and don't save it permanently. If something breaks the pattern, that means high surprise, store that in long-term memory. The example Google gives is imagine the model is summarizing a serious financial report, and the new input is a picture of a banana peel, obviously something you wouldn't expect to see. And so the gradient surprise will be very high, meaning it will save that memory and make sure it doesn't forget it. Another example just off the top of my head, imagine you're at work and a coworker, one you don't necessarily talk to that often, just randomly decides to whip a banana across the room and it goes whizzing by your face. I mean, that's something you're probably not going to forget, at least for a while. But now, Google didn't just stop there. They had two more clever tricks. The first being momentum. If something surprising happens, Titans will also memorize the next few related tokens, even if they're not individually surprising. Just like you would probably remember what you were doing before your coworker threw that banana, and also after, even if it was just a normal routine task. And then there's also adaptive forgetting. Memory isn't infinite, so Titans will let go of older info that no longer matters. This prevents clutter and keeps things moving fast pretty self-explanatory. So that's Titans, the actual memory mechanism. And to be honest, it already sounds a lot like how the human brain works. But again, Google didn't just stop there. They paired Titans with Miris, a framework that views every AI architecture as an associative memory system at its core. Basically, whether it's a transformer, an RNN, Mamba, or something brand new like Titans, under the hood, they're all just different ways of doing memory, different methods of combining new information with past knowledge without forgetting the important bits. And Miris lays out exactly how that memory should be structured. It breaks it down into four simple design choices. Number one, memory architecture. What shape is the memory? A vector, a matrix, or a deep neural network like Titans? Number two, attentional bias. What does the model care about most? What gets its attention? Number three, retention gate. How does the model forget the unimportant stuff? How do we regulate memory so it doesn't drift? And number four, memory algorithm. How do we update that memory while the model is still running? So instead of saying transformers versus RNNs versus Titans versus Mamba, Miris says they're all different points in the same memory design space. They're all just different ways of solving the same problem, memory. So that's the theory behind Titans and Miris. But does any of this actually work? Well, the early results are actually kind of insane. Across standard language modeling and reasoning tests, Titans-based models consistently outperform the best linear RNNs and transformer variants of similar size. Lower perplexity, higher accuracy across the board. And when it comes to memory depth, which they claim is crucial, models with deeper memories consistently achieve lower perplexity in language modeling, meaning they are less surprised by the text. They also exhibit better scaling properties, maintaining performance as the sequence length increases significantly, as you can see from these graphs. But this is the one that really blew my mind. This benchmark is called Babylong, and it basically hides important facts across giant documents, sometimes millions of tokens long, and asks the model to reason over all of it. And every other model, GPT-4, Quinn 2.5, Mamba, they all fall off a cliff as the input gets longer. But Titans, it just keeps going, at least to a certain extent. And keep in mind, Titans does this while having way fewer parameters than the massive models it's beating, like GPT-4. So it's not just better memory, it's also more efficient memory. So yeah, in conclusion, Google didn't just tweak attention or make context windows a bit bigger. They produced a new class of AI models that can actually remember what they learn while they're still running. Long-term memory, continual learning, massive context, real-time adaptation, all of that at the same time. If Titans plus Miris continues to scale like this, 
We're talking about AI that can follow your goals for months, not just minutes or even hours. This is the main thing today's AI agents are missing. So did Google just quietly solve one of AI's biggest weaknesses? Maybe not fully yet, but this feels like a major step toward it. But what do you guys think? Is this the missing piece or is there still something they're not seeing? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, please feel free to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.